New indirect left turns went into effect on Grant Road at two intersections this week. To go left at First Avenue and Stone, drivers must now drive by the intersection and make a U-turn. Now on your sides, Natalie Taranjoli shows us how some drivers are still adjusting to the changes. You're driving on Grant and you want to turn left onto First, or you need to make a left turn onto Stone. Well, things have changed. New signs at both intersections will tell you you can't. The indirect left turns went into effect a few days ago, but some drivers are still confused. There is an, another lane there that I need to get over to it, and it kind of got a little bit scary because you think, do I have time to get over there before I'm, I have to turn left? This driver apparently wasn't aware of the changes. Signs along Grant tell you where you can and can't make a U-turn or turn left. Here's another driver who didn't make an indirect left. These are the new indirect left turns at Grant and First, and it's confusing a lot of people, so we're going to show you exactly how it's done. You can see we couldn't turn left right there. You see all these signs that tell you not to. This is how you do it. You get over one more lane. This is where you can finally make that left or a U-turn, so you have to do a bit of some backtracking, but this is how you do it now. The Tucson Department of Transportation says the indirect left turns will reduce pedestrian and vehicle conflicts and improve travel time, but Bear Fullerton says he thinks the new turns are doing more harm than good. I hate the turns. I think they actually cause more danger because when you're going down there and trying to take it, people think they take a left, they don't, so you have people running across traffic all the time, cause huge danger, and then it just piles up just further at the U-turn. Whether you like the new turns or hate them, turning left like this is no longer allowed. Natalie Taranjoli, KGA 9, on your side.